Okay, this is gonna be my first sort of vlog type thing. So I'm just gonna improvise and talk about whatever. So just a skills and moves update. I have been training at least once a week in terms of a good session where I'm focused and I'm really trying to progress with my moves and whatnot. I'll probably show some footage while I talk about this, but my flares have improved a bunch. I'm getting back to where I was back then. And then for hand hops, today was actually a really good session. I didn't record it, but I had a good sense of awareness of my form and a good sense of awareness of uh, my kicking method or like my kicking angle and it felt very stable so I'm happy with that as well. So things are moving in terms of just hand hops and flares. My push-ups and pull-ups I've been sort of lagging on them sort of um, not really feeling like doing them but I, I, I'm trying to get back in the mood it's just sometimes they're a bit mundane to do. My splits haven't moved though but today I had a really good session in terms of dance. Today's freestyle session was really fun. Um, I haven't had a freestyle session like that in a while, especially since, you know, COVID. So it's like, I can't go to the gymnastics place. I can't um, really go hard with the cardio because this environment to me doesn't induce that. So I'm trying my best to get back into things or try my best to always have a session like that at least two to three times a week because it makes me feel alive it makes me feel like like I'm me again like it makes me feel good um, and that's what I need because I remember one time in gymnastics I right after finishing I was like I told myself I don't think I could live without this because the feeling of doing gymnastics the feeling of stress on your body I know it sounds weird just doing the flips feeling the impact being up in the air all of it combined and then um, your body just feeling the endorphins I think um, it just feels good and it's a good feeling that I want to experience more so in terms of those things it's moving but it's slow but it's not like June where I just completely um, dropped off and didn't do any of it so it's it's progress from before so this past few weeks has been interesting things have been spiking up uh, in terms of the pandemic so it's harder to go outside again but there's this one day where I met up with my half brother where to film something because he told me that he was living in his car for about a month at that point when I met up with him it's it's been closer to one and a half months now, so like six to seven weeks. He didn't sound like it. He he seemed like he was still good and positive. So I was very surprised. I asked him if I could like film him or if he wanted to make a video about it because he's the first person I know to actually experience that living in their car, um, especially during a we really weird time. So I wanted to get his story and I wanted to record it and share it with other people. And that's what I did with my Dreamlit channel. Um, and it was a good day. I, I, I like seeing him. He has a lot of positive vibes, um, but I do know that this is a very hard time for him and I'm trying to support him in any way possible. It's just really hard because like family matters and stuff like that. It's like nobody's allowing each other to go in, into each other's houses because of the pandemic. So it's a hard situation for everyone, I think. Um, Especially if you have like Asian parents who are very strict um, and very paranoid about these things. But yeah, that was a pretty fun day and I, I enjoyed that whole like recording session and I enjoyed editing it as well. Like there's a lot of positive vibes as well as just, it's just fun for me to go out and record things. Even though that's the one time I did it probably this entire time during this pandemic. I really want to do more of it, but obviously it's very difficult to do it during these times and uh, got to stay safe. Another thing we recorded that was indoors, we were cooking some random stuff. I think it was something like a mochi donut or something or matcha donut. I didn't really do anything. I kind of just sat there eating. <laughs> so, so I just I was just watching them recording a little bit with my camera and it didn't taste good at all. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But, but, but with the chocolate, it tasted OK, but something was definitely off about it. It was fun to record it. Let's see. Well, I guess this whole vlog thing is supposed to be like, you know, updates on my life and stuff. So the month of June was basically me just creating this whiteboard course. I think it's a good course um, if you're interested in whiteboard animation. But after I created that, it was it was a lot of work. So I just wanted to take a break from like making stuff for the purpose of making income or selling it. So I just wanted to start up these videos and just like try a whole bunch of random stuff 
for the sake of creativity, for the sake of just fulfilling that creative urge inside of me. Because I get that a lot. I just feel like making random videos and I restricted myself in terms of what I thought each channel that I have should be. So I'm trying to loosen up on that and I'm trying to just make content I feel like I want to make and make it good. But at the same time, like for random videos, I'm not gonna spend too much time on them because I do have limited time and I do want to still keep up with things that can sustain me. Otherwise, I can't pay rent and stuff like that. In terms of channel stuff, I created Dreamly Academy in the past few weeks which is supposed to be a channel that is based on like tutorials and stuff, like how to make videos like this, or how to make whiteboard animation videos, or how to script things, audio, basically everything video production, and probably more than that eventually. But it just started up, so there's not too many videos on it, but those are my plans for that channel. And this channel, I've turned it into a random channel. I just post whatever I want on it. And then my Blue Lotus channel with uh, my friends. I want to call it like our channel. Blue Lotus has been growing in subscribers. It's still very small. It's just like 200 subscribers, but it's still better than 100 where um, it was like a couple of months ago. So I'm glad about that. And I'm happy that we're growing that channel and like trying to make more videos with it. It's a lot harder because I wanted us to be together in person and recording and just it's just more fun that way, honestly. Um, doing it online, it's it's not the same, but that's what we're gonna have to do for a while, probably a long while. I don't know how long this thing's gonna last. I hope it ends sooner than later. Right now, that's what we have to deal with. I'm trying to make that channel like more interesting by having each person come up with topics and whatnot, being creative with the format of the video. Instead of just us doing discussions, it can be like trivia or it can be like um, group quiz taking things or whatever, something something more interesting. So that that's the update on that, that channel. It's I'm happy with it. It's in a good place. I've been doing a crap ton of editing for it though. Um, Cause like right now, in terms of us five, um, I'm the one with the most experience in terms of editing um, because you know, I've done this for years now and I g sort of have to be more active about trying to delegate so that I'm not swamped with so much editing work. It's gonna be a process. And for this channel, I've just been thinking of videos to upload. A lot of it has been just extra footage from Dreamlit, just behind the scenes from Dreamlit, stuff like that. Yeah, that's basically it. To end off this vlog, Keanu, in terms of just like a non-video perspective update, I've gone further with Chopin's G minor ballad, uh, ballad in G minor. That piece is so fun to play, to practice. I'm not even close to like finishing it in terms of a, a tempo, but but it's still really fun to learn. And it's, a, it's just a incredible piece to experience while playing. One of my favorite pieces for sure. Like if not my favorite so far in terms of what I've learned so far. Um, but yeah, that's just the update. Hopefully I get to, hopefully I finish that piece pretty soon. I haven't been the best with consistent practice, but during the past few weeks, I've definitely been better with practice consistency. Um, there was a day where I decided to practice for like five hours straight. I, I was actually trying for eight hours, but then I couldn't make it. I lost focus, so I just did five hours. It was just for fun to like test uh, my focus limit and whatnot. But that's gonna be the update for now. I know that was a lot of stuff because this is my first vlog, so I don't know exactly where to start from, you know? But I just decided to start with the past, what's happened in the past few weeks. And it was a long discussion. I, I probably won't upload the entire thing, but I'll see what happens. Um, for this channel, honestly, I'm making videos for the sake of making videos, for the sake of having fun, for the sake of creativity. I I don't expect anyone to actually view these videos and like it would be nice for sure. Like um, for my other channel, obviously I do care like about if people watch my videos there because um, I do have subscribers there and it's like if nobody watches, then it just means that nobody cares about my videos. So that. I do definitely care way more if nobody watches it, but for this channel, I don't, I don't mind if anybody, if nobody watches it, because it's just for me to really express my creativity and express myself. So, yeah, that's a, that was a, it's quite the mind mind dump of thoughts, but yeah, okay, that's it. Uh, if you did manage to watch all of that for whatever reason, um, thank you and see you in the next video.